Hello friends, my name is Shashank and welcome back to my channel Corporate Guy and today in this video we're going to show you a new power app which I have developed just recently. Uh, it is on the risk register application where you can you know log new risks and calculate their you know risk value and risk scoring and also assign them to different people and also you can do a basic analysis on the home screen where I have you know uh, connected the Power BI tiles to show you know some of the graphics such as you know uh, status, uh, how it works and uh, what is the status of the uh, uh, all the you know uh, risks and the average scoring of uh, location wise and the number of risks associated per risk uh, category and all of the risks uh, and giving some of the basic information of all the risks such as risk title their risk uh, value risk scoring uh, assigned to the status and the date and all these things are available in the home screen and on the top you can also see that we have total number of risks uh, high risks are 2 medium are 17 low are 5 and on the left side we have the net navigation bar where you can you know go into different screens and you know, do the uh, you know, uh, basic uh, uh, functionality and use the basic functionality of the application and the home screen you can see I have this you know a uh, user information where the uh, username is automatically displayed whoever is you know who is logging into the application their email ID their profile picture and uh, all the navigation uh, tabs are on the left side so in the first tab I'll show you the add risk where you can go and simply simply add uh, a new risk so we have all the tabs available here fields uh, you can just simply type test and then you can select the risk type the risk type uh, if you select a physical security risk or maybe information risk and based on that the categories will be changed you can see even you can add more uh, categories and subcategories in in this uh, drop down i'll show you how to do that uh, and then next we have the risk specification even though you have mentioned a risk title what kind of risk specification you have identified under that title you can mention here uh, what, what was the date on which it was identified you can select a specific date uh, by default I'll, you can make it you know as a not started uh, but if you want to keep it blank that's up to you the likelihood is rare and the item property is negligible and the risk scoring is one and based on the risk calculation the risk level will be displayed here you cannot you know edit these two uh, fields these are logged you can only view the uh, values here if you change maybe the likelihood to uh, 5 and impact to 5 we will see the risk level is now high and the risk scoring is 25 and then you can you know assign this uh, maybe it is assessed by myself assigned to somebody else and the due date is let's say 13th and then you can select the office name uh, let's say code bay and the number top the you know, the top uh, address under that uh, office name will be you know uh, will be coming in the office type uh, tax center or the regional office so let's say it's regional office how frequent you want to assess that risk once it is resolved right so you can select the frequency here let's say it's quarterly and then you can say what are the existing controls already mentioned here and additional controls which are required and what are the action you want uh, specifically to uh, resolve that and who has approved this so once you have submit this will go to the person who is authorized to you know approve this and then th that person can simply you know approve it and that name will be displayed here right so that that's how it works so once you submit that that information will be uh, saved uh, and you can then go back to the home screen and you can see all the you know risks which are added in the home in the view risks and here you can see that uh, uh, medium risks are displayed in blue and if you go down the high risks are uh, mentioned in high uh, red and the low are mentioned in blue and in the green and basic information will be displayed here like such as title the risk type and the specific uh, you know, risk and then you can if you want to you know go and edit you want to make some changes you want to change the progress or you want to change you know uh, the existing controls or the new controls what are the actions has been taken you can simply go to the view risk uh, button and it will open a new screen uh, where the basic dis uh, information from that uh, risk will be automatically populated and by default uh, this is a logged form you cannot edit but you can just simply go to the edit uh, tab and it will you know make all these tabs editable and then you can just simply change whatever you want to change in that and then you can submit it back let's say you want to change the progress to completed and recently you have identified that the risk scoring or maybe it has changed it is now negligible and it's rare so you can see the server room misplacement the risk level is now low and the status is completed let's uh, submit it back and let's go back 
uh, to the home screen and you will see uh, that uh, number of risk will have, will be changed uh, accordingly right so let's see uh, let's go back to the view risks and here you see that now the new risk category is low which we have just changed in the risk uh, update uh, field yeah, so basically you can just simply make changes uh, you know, on the update screen just simply go to the view risks and select any of the risk go to the view risk make changes submit it back and that's it and in case you want to you know just simply uh, cancel the changes which you have made you can simply press cancel it will automatically reset the form to back to the you know original state just go back to the home screen and then we have the risk register where you can simply uh, you know, see all the risks in a single screen so in, even if you want to you know just simply select and copy and paste it in excel you can do that very easily but you cannot make changes here in this screen it's just to, for a display in case you want to just uh, uh, to have a comparison between the risks right so let's go back to the home screen and here you have two more tabs where we can add more office locations or make changes to the office locations in case something has changed in the office uh, or in the risk type in case you want to make more categories or sub uh, you want to add more subcategories you can do that in these tabs as well so first of all let's see the location data uh, here we have all the you know, offices on the left side you can simply select any of the offices simply go to the edit and if you want to make changes such as the number of employees has been increased to 800 so you can just simply uh, submit it back and based on that you can even change the criticality if it is more than 500 the, you know uh, the what you call the uh, offices you know high critical right so that's how you can you know submit changes and even if you want to delete or edit you can simply do that let's say you want to just delete that you can simply click on the delete it will ask you for the confirmation simply cancel that and that's it and if you want to may add new locations simply go to the new location and just type in all the information whatever you want to add here and uh, then submit back and it will be added as a new office location in your database and that that database will be displayed in the add uh, new risks category where you have seen that there is an option to select the office location right uh, and then we have the risk types and the risk types is the just the categories and the subcategories and the examples which you want to showcase right so this is where you can see if there is any specific risk like physical security risk what are the you know, examples you can select it uh, you can see that here and if you want to make changes uh, and you can do that as well if you want to delete that that you can do that if you want to add new risks that also you can do that simply type in the title the risk category and the examples and simply submit it that will be added in the list and then that will also be you know, available in the add risk uh, home screen where you can see that uh, what are the categories and subcategories of those risks so this is how this uh, risk matrix works uh, it's very uh, easy to make but it takes some time to tweak and make things perfectly aligned and looks good so that's it for today's video and if you are interested to learn about this how to make this just comment uh, tutorial in the comment section and i'll make a video on that and for that don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel for more updates on the risks on the on the power apps power bi and excel tutorials so that's it uh, for the today's video thank you so much and don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel